big data is revolutionizing the world of IT industry. And according to Forbes analysts estimate, upward of 80% of the enterprise data is unstructured. And unstructured data cannot be always handled in real time. If you try to store this data in RDBMS, do you think it will be able to scale up the data in real time and give you 100% performance? Obviously not. That is why NoSQL databases came into picture to store and handle this data in real time. Hello everyone, this is Neha from Edureka, and in this video I will be comparing the most prominent NoSQL databases, Cassandra, MongoDB, and HBase. First, let's understand the basics of NoSQL database and then dive into the comparison. So what is NoSQL database? It is also known as not only SQL database, is an alternative to SQL database which does not require any kind of fixed table schema unlike the SQL. It generally scales horizontally and avoids major join operations on the data. NoSQL database can also be referred to as structured storage, which consists of relational database as a subset. So now you can only think SQL databases are just a subset of NoSQL databases. Not only that, it also covers a swarm of multitude databases where each of them have different kind of data storage model. Next, what is the need for NoSQL databases? Compared to relational database, NoSQL are more scalable and provide superior performance. Few of the solutions provided by NoSQL databases are, it can scale out the data easily and has shared nothing architecture which is capable of running on a large number of nodes. Next, it also provides a non-locking concurrency control mechanism so that real-time reads will not conflict the writes. Next, it can scale and replicate thousands of machines with distributed data. And the architecture of NoSQL database provides higher performance per node than RDBMS and has schema-less data model. So let's see what are the types of NoSQL databases. There are four different types and they are first key value store. It has a big hash table of keys and values. For example, Amazon S3. Next, column based store. In this case, each storage block contains data from only one column, like Cassandra and HBase. Next, document based store. It stores a document that are made up of tagged elements, for example, CouchDB or MongoDB. Next, graph based. In this case, a network database uses edges and nodes to represent and store the data, for example, Neo4j. So, this is all about the basic fundamentals of NoSQL databases. Now, let's jump into the core topic of the discussion and compare the three prominent databases based on these parameters. First, let me introduce you these terms. Cassandra. Apache Cassandra is a leading NoSQL distributed data management system that drives many of today's modern business applications by offering continuous availability, high scalability and performance, strong security, and operational simplicity by lowering overall cost of ownership. Next, MongoDB. It is a document oriented database. All the data in MongoDB is treated in JSON format and it is a schemaless database which goes over terabytes of data in the database. And Apache HBase is a NoSQL key value store which runs on the top of HDFS. Unlike Hive, HBase operations run in real time on its database rather than the map produced jobs. Next, let's see the data model of these databases. Cassandra is a wide column store model based on the ideas of Bigtable and Dynamo database. It consists of key spaces, which is the outermost container in Cassandra, and column family contains an ordered collection of rows. Next, MongoDB is a document store architecture where data in MongoDB has a flexible schema documents in the collection. They don't need to have the same set of fields or structure, but common fields in a collections document may hold different types of data. Next, in case of HBase, it is partitioned into tables and tables are further split into column families. Column families must be declared in the schema and grouped together by certain set of columns. That is, columns don't require schema definition and HBase works by storing data as key and value. Now let's see the CAP theorem and check where these databases lies. CAP theorem is a concept that a distributed database system can only have two of the three, that is consistency, availability, and partition tolerance. CAP theorem is very important in the big data world, especially when we need to make a trade-offs between the three based on our unique use case. Coming to Cassandra, it has a decentralized architecture and any node can perform any operation. In this case, it provides AP from the CAP theorem, that is, it provides availability and partition tolerance from the CAP theorem. And MongoDB and HBase provide CP from the CAP theorem, that is, it provides consistency and partition tolerance from the CAP theorem. So this is how all the databases can have only two of the three from the CAP theorem. 
So next parameter on the list is implementation language. Cassandra and HBase are implemented using one of the most popular object oriented programming language called Java and MongoDB is implemented using C++ programming language. Though these databases are implemented using the object oriented concepts. It also provides a wide support to all other programming languages. Next query language as like SQL Cassandra has its own query language called Cassandra query language and MongoDB is queried using dynamic object based language and JavaScript and HBase can be queried using MapReduce. Next, when it comes to performance, it should be noted that there is no single winner among the top NoSQL databases. Depending on the use case and deployment conditions, it is almost always possible for one NoSQL database to outperform another and yet lacks its competitor when the rules of engagement change. Comparing on the benchmarks of performance, I would say Cassandra is more durable and performs slight better among three of them. Next parameter on the list is security. Again, in security, all the three NoSQL databases are secure in their own aspects. Like Cassandra, MongoDB, and HBase provides client authentication and authorization, and Cassandra provides SSL encryption, and MongoDB provides encryption governance auditing, and HBase provides Thrift server role as a means of security layers. Next, let's see what are the replication methods. Cassandra and HBase support selective replication where you can restrict the amount of information that is exchanged between the replicas and MongoDB supports master slave replication method where replica sets are recommended for new production deployments to replicate the data in the cluster. Next competitive advantages for failure handling in Cassandra every node contains a replica and in case of failure the replica takes charge. So there is no chance of failure and it ensures 100% availability. It also offers lowest total cost of ownership and Cassandra is the best in class scalability and performance of NoSQL platforms. Coming to MongoDB by offering the best of traditional databases as well as the flexibility scale and performance that is required by today's applications. MongoDB lets the innovators to deploy apps as big as they can possibly dream. From startups to enterprises for the modern and mission critical MongoDB is a database for giant ideas and HBase can store large data sets on top of HDFS and will aggregate and analyze billions of rows present in HBase tables for online analytics operations HBase is used extensively. There are wide range of applications of all the three databases. I have jotted down few of them. Cassandra is used in Internet of Things fraud detection applications recommendation engines product catalogs and messaging applications Twitter and Netflix are the top companies that use Cassandra as a database and MongoDB is also used in Internet of Things mobile single view MetLife real time analytics catalogs personalizations etc. And coming to HBase it is used in medical to store the genome sequence and the history of patient data and for storing match histories for better analytics and prediction in sports. And also in order to store user history and preferences web also uses HBase for better customer targeting. So these are some of the application areas where all these three databases are used. Now talking about the last parameter market metrics according to the Forbes estimate around 40 percent of the fortune 100 companies are using Cassandra and MongoDB has over 40 million downloads and 7 percent of the companies in the world are using Apache HBase only. So this is where all three databases stand at the top of the list in the market. So I hope you understood the similarities and differences between Cassandra MongoDB and HBase. Depending on your requirements you can choose one among them. So that's all for the session. Thank you and have a nice day. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!